What's up you guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you what I do to style my models for my shoots. Everything from my vision board, to shopping, to dressing the model. All right y'all, let's get into it. All right, so I typically start out on Pinterest making a mood board for the shoot that I have coming up or that I have in mind. It's a great place for me to go and kind of explore different ideas as they pop into my head while I am moving about my day. So for a while I had had the theme of old Hollywood male stars on my mind. I definitely wanted to try to capture the look and feel of these old 50s style uh, photos of, of superstars and actors during this time. I really liked the simplicity of the look. I really felt that it was more than just the clothes. It was really the man in the clothes that really made these kind of iconic photos and images resonate with me. So this is kind of where my jumping board was. And this is also the mood board that I shared with my male model for the shoot. I headed to Hollywood to the store Iguana to see what I could find. Lucky for me, this is a specialty store and they have all different types of clothing from different eras in time. I had in mind that I wanted a hat, suspenders, and the classic uh, high waist pants for my male model. I also like to be paired with an associate who knew her stuff when it came to men's fashion from the 1950s. She taught me a lot of cool things that I had no idea about, the small nuances of the shirts, how you could tell what era they were from, and it's all based upon the length of the collar. I also learned that when shooting black and white back in the day, actors and actresses rarely wore the color white because it didn't play well on the screen. Instead, they often shot in light pink, light green, or light blue because those colors translated to white on black and white screens. Having found everything I needed at Iguana, I was able to leave and head out for my shoot knowing that I had the exact attire that I wanted to capture the shoot that I was after. What's up you guys and now we're on set for the second half of this video. You're going to be seeing my look on my model. I'm going to be shooting with the Yashica A since it too is from the 1950s and the film and music is going to be Acros uh, 102. So you're going to see that. And I'm also going to get a couple shots on my Nikon FE with the 85mm lens that I picked up a couple months ago now. You guys can check out when I bought this on my how to buy uh, photography gear on eBay video. I'll link that somewhere up below. So yeah, let's jump into it, all right?
Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is really f***ing dope. Yeah. Wow. Why do these fingers? Yeah. And that could be your thumbnail. Judge me, please. Let me know what the deal. Yep. One, two, three. Uh, your index is a little bit higher. Hold it. One, two, three. Damn it, keep snapping. Right there. One, two, three. So I don't have any footage of the next couple of photos and that's because we ended up getting kicked out of this location. We were shooting near a law school and for whatever reason, people were working despite the fact that COVID, but whatever. So I'm going to share some advice that I use and have learned while making photos in the Los Angeles area. When you notice a security guard or someone who works for the building or the facility that you are shooting outside of, do not be alarmed. Do not look directly at this person. Instead, keep shooting as if you do not see them because have no doubt in your mind, you will more than likely be kicked out of this location. And even it's better to get your shots in rushed rather than not at all. My sister let me know that the person was coming. She turned the camera off. I just kept shooting and had my model continue to pose until the security guard was right upon me and she asked me what I was doing. To which I told her, I'm making photographs on your lovely grounds here. And she told me that I could not. I said, oh, cool, no problem. Thanks so much though. By this point, I had already fired off about five to six shots and had my pick of them. So. Always keep shooting, be polite, and then graciously leave because you've gotten what you've come for anyway. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun shooting it. Um, I can't wait to see these images. You guys have already seen them, so comment down below and let me know what you thought of my look, what you thought of the photos, what you thought of the camera while taking portraits. Um, I want to give special thanks to my model, Andre, today for helping me out. Andre, tell the good people. Hello, world. I'm Andre Groom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be a part of the project. My Instagram is it's Mr. Groom. Simple as that, because... What more do you need? It's simple. I'm going to link him down below. You guys check out all his projects and check out uh, the old videos of the web show we worked on together. I'll link that below as well. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Peace. Yeah, you're